Now we will take a look at a few velocity graphs and just try to understand what they mean. And we'll just do this qualitatively. In other words, not with numbers, not quantitatively. You'll notice there are no numbers on this graph. But what does this graph mean? Well, this graph is a graph of the velocity of an object and how that velocity changes over time. And we notice that at the beginning, in this earlier time, there's one thing on the graph and then in this later time there's another segment of the graph. So let's look at each of those. Well, in this first piece, as time goes on, the velocity stays right at this value. In other words, at this time, that corresponds to that point on the graph, which is that velocity. At a later time, it corresponds to that point on the graph, which is still that velocity, the same velocity. This whole region here where the graph is flat, that region, and you want to write this in your notes, that is a region where it is moving, the object is moving at a steady speed. And you can see that because over time the velocity doesn't change. But now on your graph, from this moment right here at this little cusp in the graph, from that moment down to the end right there, as time goes on, you see the graph is coming down. And the value of the velocity ends up coming all the way down to zero there. So if the velocity is decreasing, that means it's slowing down in this case. And then at the end, right at this moment, it's down here. This point on the graph corresponds to a speed of zero right there. So at that point right there, it is stopped. So that's how to think about this graph, those three different sections on the graph, and each one has a meaning. It moves at a steady speed, and then it slows down to a stop.